Hey guys, how y'all doing, man? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to all those around the world. Welcome back to the Pokemon Night video featuring your boy Gengar coming through that jungle in that master rank. We're playing a solo duo queue down here with my Charizard. Hopefully, we're gonna have a good game. I mean, that is the game plan, right? Ooh, Lucario, though. Wasn't expecting it. Blissey, though. Give me that, too. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Get this free score for 19 points. And we can go back and get these bees. We're running a different build than usual. Opposed of what I like to normally do. You know what I'm saying? Because I normally run all damage items on Gengar. I normally run Shell Bell, Wise Glasses, and Choice Specs. Today we're running Shell Bell, Wise Glasses, and Score Shield. Because instead of Score Shield, it's normally Focus Band, especially in this meta. Whereas a lot, every Pokemon is pretty much bursty. You know what I mean? Lucario is bursty. Crustle does damage, apparently, now. You know? There's a lot of Pokemon that actually do damage when you have to dive into a team fight. You know, you got to worry about Cinderace. you got to worry about Duraludon. you got to worry about all these Pokemon. Even though you're playing Gengar, you can one-shot a lot of Squishies with your combination. Which you can, right? You can. But the focus man helps you fight at these objectives, right? It really does. Helps you sustain. And for those of you that aren't very good with Gengar, it also helps you out there in that mindset as well. But it gives you a little bit more sustain in these fights. Now, when it comes to Shadow Ball Dream Eater, if you hit if you hit a target, hit a squishy target, 9 out of 10, they're dead. So if the enemy team makes one misplay when you're playing Gengar, you know, you're having a solid game, you catch them, it's over, right? Exactly. But... When we're sitting here at these Zapdos fights, or we're sitting here in these elongated battles. War Turtle, bro, why, why are you here? This is mine. Get out. Bring your buddy. I don't care. Bring your friends. I don't care. Bring them all. I'll take them all down. Let's go. Like, what did you what'd you expect was going to happen? Let's be honest. What did you think was going to happen here? Thank you for that. Greet it. Thanks for helping, bud. Appreciate you. Can I have some berries? Oh, what a nice guy. Good job, man. Go ahead and score this as well, I guess. And we get free bees yet again. Who'd have thought, right? Now, I'm not going to bother taking all these bees. It's a waste of my time, especially when Dreadnought comes up, is coming up in 10 seconds. I need to get a couple of these to get back down the bot side. I do have Unite, so this fight should be guaranteed as long as my team doesn't. Okay. Never mind. They died. It's fine. It's okay. We got this. It's all right. I'm not worried about it. Who's down here? War Turtle's still top side. So everybody else is bot lane. This may be a little bit dangerous, but we have to go in. We have to contest for this. They do have a Charizard with Unite. Never mind. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I don't have to worry about him either. That's what I like to see, though. I don't have to worry about Charizard either. We're stealing this. Let's go. Nope. Nope. No. Oh, well, we got knocked up. Still mine. Get out of here. Let me get that four piece. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Dead. Let's go. 1,400 damage right now. Level 10. Absolutely nuts. Just absolutely busted, I swear. Lucario, do not score. Do not score. Quick math. Oh, what a good guy. What a good guy. I know y'all tired of seeing that crap, too. You're sitting here, you're playing your games. You're like, I got 40 points. The goal only takes six. The cardio's got seven. It's okay. I can I can score. Like, quick math, bro. Forty's bigger than seven, as far as I understand, right? I'm pretty sure. But at the end of the day, for those of you that don't also know, if your teammate is trying to score a goal, stand on the darn score pad, okay? If you do, they score quicker. In case y'all don't know, we catch Ivysaur out again. Free damage, no big deal. Get the heck out of dodge. I'm just waiting for it. A boy drops his Unite move, he scoops up. I did land that on Blissey. I'm going to probably go in for this fight because we're super close to taking her down. And she does. She survives. I think if he would have committed with me, we had the fight. Like, if he would have committed, instead of doing that sudden, you know, back and forth there, I think we had it. But it's okay. It, it is what it is. We should be able to pick this off, this goal, because Greedent does have score shield. Right, Greedent? You got score shield, right, buddy? Don't make me look bad, bud. Take the goal. You got this. I have faith in you. Ooh, that bullet seed, though. Good job. All right, so we take that top lane. And now we should be able to get back there and contest this road, no problem. Now, the best thing about Gengar is the fact that one of the best things about him, other than everything, is you can clear these objectives so ridiculously quick when you're going to a lane, when you're traversing between mid, bot, mid, top, whatever. You just Shadow Ball Dream Eater, and that's it. As long as you leave that Dream Eater on that objective, whether it's Rotom, Dreadnought, Zapdos, your jungle buffs, it doesn't matter. Leave the Dream Eater on until the last possible second. Because it helps you secure it, and it helps you be able to not get it stolen from you. You know what I mean? And I'm talking about when your teammates come and try to take your jungle farm. When the enemy comes and tries to take over the Dreadnought, you want to make sure your Dream Eater is the last button that you smash. You know what I mean? Now we're in a bad spot. I think I can catch Blissey here. I think I can get here in time. Oh, crap. That may just kill me, to be honest. I popped that eject blood. That may just take me down. Just that in itself. I mean, I could leave... Oh, that's the last Pokemon I wanted to see, to be honest, with Charizard here. I'm dead. I'm dead for that. Yep, I'm out. I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. You got me. You got me. You got me. You got me. Goodness, man. 
I think you can, you can do this, right, Green? You got this, right, bud? That's right, you get that, Lucario. Yeah, oh, you got Fire Punch today. Oh, well. What do you to do? I think he's dead, though. Yeah, good job. Get back on that objective, buddy. Now we're gonna go ahead, get our jungle buffs right fast, and get ready for this next fight. I wrote him in topside. I should be able to clear my jungle buffs in time and get the bees up there. Assuming they haven't taken them, they might have. Yeah, Blastoise already did it. Alright, fair enough. I don't think I can stop him from scoring, which is unfortunate. He gets that 33 points, and it's not best to chase him, even though I could have popped the button and got to him. It's probably not a good idea. Because he probably has Unite move, give or take. And if, even if he doesn't, I might not kill him quick enough before his team gets up here. But hey, looks like they left bees for me. And I see this a lot, too. It's like... You're not, you don't do a lot of damage to the Queen Bee for a lot of Pokemon, so they kind of just leave it there half the time. And it's interesting because as a jungler or as the enemy team, it's just like you get free experience by taking the Queen Bee from them because they left it there for you, so why not? You know what I mean? Got Greenan over there doing Greenan things, getting the whole enemy to chase him because that's what Greenan is supposed to do. You know what I mean? But at the same time, you're not necessarily supposed to chase the Greenan. And y'all should know this by now. He's been out for a couple months since, since Halloween. You know what I mean? And still, people don't know how to deal with this Pokemon. Like, there's no idea. They think he's still busted, still super power, super overpowered, and they just don't know how to deal with him. But in hindsight, think of it like Krustle. No matter what you do, the Pokemon's going to score. No matter what you do, you're going to chase him. Even though you say you're not going to, you're going to chase him anyway. We wanted to see where Lucario is in that situation. We got eyes on him. He knows we're in bot side. At least he did know we're in bot side. Now we're still down here. I want to see where, where he's at. If he's still here or not. If he's not, I can get this score in for free. Boy, it looks like we get that Rotom. Lucario is still bot side, so I'm in a really bad situation right now. Especially with Charizard here as well. I don't know how we didn't see that. I was, he just came up out of nowhere. But still. Even though my Charizard was here, we're still in a bad spot. As long as Charizard does not jump over this wall and scoop me, we're golden. That's it. That's all it takes. I mean, being I do have a Unite move in case he does scoop me. But I really don't want to just counter his Unite with my Unite when no one else is here. So I don't want to pop up on the Charizard, right? But instead, we're going to fight the Zapdos. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. They ain't paying attention to this. We got this. Let's go. This might be a really bad idea, to be honest, but it's going to be a coin toss either way. The enemy team's not paying attention to us. And as long as my Dream Eater stays on the Zapdos until the last possible second, I should be able to take this secure. Got it. Let's go. 2,500 damage. And we just, we just, we out. We out here, boys. I got my glasses on, got my backpack. We ready for school today. Get this free dunk. No problem. Let's go. Uh. Pikachu, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him. Nice job. Dead. Mm. Either way, we're going to dive into game number two. See you on the second. Let's go. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing, man? Welcome back to game number two. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to all those around the world. For those of you that are tuning in for the first time, this is episode, or I guess game part two of Gengar today. Hopefully, you guys are excited. I'm excited. We're down here playing with our buddy, Green, who's on Charizard. We're playing solo duo Q and Master Rank. We're having fun. She ain't ready for it. She ain't ready for it. That eject button to that Dream Eater into Willow Wisp. You dead, bud? Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on, drill it on. Don't back out. Don't back out. We got this. We got this. Keep going. Keep going. Nice job. Free score. Let's do it. Get that 20 points in, and we got bees. Good job, buddy. We'll go back up here. Oh wait, hold up. Haunter's up here getting core fishes. Guys, guys, pay attention. Come on. Come on. Up here. Up. 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 Right here. Right here. Right here. What are we doing? Where y'all going? Nice. Psst. Oh man, if they paid attention, we had it. I think if they would have got here and paid attention, we probably can kill him beforehand, but it's fine. It's all good. We take him? We take him out. It's cool. We got him. Yep. Can we get the Ivysaur 2 or no? Did we get him? Did we get him? Did we get him? Nice job. If he gets that three piece, that's definitely worth it. At least for that lane. That lane would be over if he gets that three piece. Did you do it? Oh, good job, buddy. Good job. Get back in the show and grab my farm right fast. We're, we're going to actually have a good game today. It looks like we have a really solid team. Right now, we have two engagers between Charizard and Serena. You know, you don't really expect myself to be, you know, the set engager per se, but I catch the Pokemon, you know what I mean? But thankfully, we do have a Serena. We have a Charizard in this game. Pikachu's going to do Pikachu things. And Drelodon's probably going to play, you know, out of position and not do well. I mean, it is what it is. What are you supposed to do? Get up here and grab these bees right fast. Again, Pikachu. Pikachu's here is with me. We should be able to take these bees with Electro Ball and my Shadow Ball. No problem for free. Greninja's being Greninja, not coming up, not moving up. We got this, right? Ooh, buddy, 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 buddy. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. What'd you do? What'd you learn today? What did you learn? Now, generally, I'm almost level nine, or I am level nine by this time. But it looks like because I got that kill in bot lane and died there, I'm gonna lose out on EXP, which is unfortunate. 
But we might be able to actually do something down here and stop this from, from them taking this Dreadnought. Serena's diving in. We have Dorelodon to use the Flash Cannon on the base. He's doing a good job with that note. So I can't really complain there. But here's where we're probably going to mess up, right? Here's where we're going to mess up. She's diving in. She's almost dead. She should have died there, to be honest. And he's probably dead here, too, because out of position. That's it. There goes that level up. They should be able to take this objective for free now. Gengar is level 9. Yeah, yeah, they got it. They got it. Just It just takes one person to slip up. Like, literally, he gave Gengar the EXP to level up because he stepped out of out of line because he was not in a good position as Dorelodon there. Which is unfortunate because what are you supposed to do? But it's okay. It's all right. We're going to win the game. We're, we're going to get this game, no problem. Pikachu in the top lane, getting the Rotom again, doing a good job by himself. Serena's down here taking my jungle farm because, you know, she's upset. I mean, it's not my fault that Dorelodon didn't position himself well. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I'm sorry. I'm going to carry you anyway. So be grateful. But either way, though, it's just like we do have a Pikachu, right? So we have the opportunity to get buddy barriers in these team fights. We have catch potential with Electro Ball. We have damage. We do. Greninja's also behind, as you can see here. This is why I went in for this team fight. I forced this battle, even though I didn't need to. But I know Charizard has Unite move as well, and Greninja was low eight. So I knew I can blow him up or blow him up before they can do anything in the situation. What I didn't account on was Trevenant and having Unite move as well. But it's fine. Because it works out, right? It all worked out. Until Yep. Are we dead? Yep. I knew it. I knew I just saw that coming. I didn't actually think he was going to unite immediately, but he did. It's fine. Everybody gets one. We're still doing okay. We're still doing solid. Now, for those of you that don't know, this is a brand new Gengar skin. So, if you guys missed the astronaut Gengar skin, Gengar space style skin, whatever you want to call it, this is the next best thing. Because his other skin is pretty crap. Let's be honest. It's pretty trash. It's just a jacket, right? It's pretty bad. You know? And... And this one is actually pretty good, except for the fact it doesn't have any animations. It just has cosmetic, essentially. And it doesn't change when he levels up. You don't start wearing this cool stuff as ghastly, nothing like that. It's not like the astronaut skin at all. I think Pikachu's going to die in top lane. Let's see if I can get up here to him and help him out. I think he can win if he plays it well, but if he gets caught with the Dream Eater, he could be in a really bad spot. Yep. I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. I got you. I got you. Don't worry. I saw what was going on. I gotta show that Gengar what's up, you know what I mean? I gotta style on him eventually. I got my shades on. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm here for it. We're here for it. Let's see. We can get this catch. We can get this catch. Ooh. There we go. Let's go. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead for it. Tree. Please go away, Tree. Holy crap. Greninja's not gonna learn, apparently, until I make him learn today. You're dead. Let's get that. Let's get this one, too. Mm-hmm. Where's Gengar at? Come on, bud. Let's go. Come get this smoke. You don't want it. You don't want it. Ooh, get out skilled. Revenant, I'm out, boy. See you later. <laughs> oh, man. If only you were down here fighting this objective instead of fighting the tree. And she united him, even though he had Buddy Barry up from his Unite. Why? Oh, man. That's rough. And she's taking that 1v2 on the goal. I mean, I guess we get this Redinol because she's doing the 1v2. But at the same time, she didn't have to. She could have been down here and got this and without dying. But, I mean, he's the own, right? Are we going to fight this too? Is that what we're doing? I'd rather go back to base. Is that cool? Gotta get up here and get my jungle buffs to get this rotation off. Or maybe get my jungle buffs because Serena's coming up here too. For those of you that don't know what blue buff actually does, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and make this real simple. It does more damage to wild Pokemon if you have a blue buff. So for those of you that are coming through the, your jungle and stealing the farm from your junglers, you're putting them behind, let alone you're stealing the jungle buffs. And if you ain't being useful, what makes you think that blue buff's gonna help you, right? Let's be honest. I mean, that, what else do you want me to say? To be fair. We should be able to get this goal. Quick map, Serena. Quick map. I-50. Oh, what a good person. Good job. Of course, she would actually pay dividends here. Good job. Break that goal. And we kill Venusaur in the process. That's what's he to do. I'm out. I'm out here. Low 14. We're doing great. Doing great. Charizard has Unite move ready. Dorelodon has his up as well. Mine's about to be up after this core fish. We should be golden. Right? Anger is in the top side. I don't know if I'd be able to help Pikachu before he dies. No, he's dead. Sorry, buddy. Nope. Oh, Alright, that's it. Charizard, come here, bud. Let's go. Let's go. We got this. We got this. I don't know why Dream Eater went that direction. That's awkward. Now I'm in trouble. Nope. We should be solid. We should be solid. So he popped the eject button, assuming he doesn't have Unite. Yep. Cool. Now he's dead for 20 seconds, which is great, because we have an opportunity to fight the Zapdos if we heal up right quick. 
I think I probably should have stayed in that, stayed there, but it's probably better to go back considering my team wasn't there as well, in case I get caught out. You know what I mean? Now we gotta do this the way I always try to do it as Gengar. Sit here, look for picks, look for opportunities to poke. I go in, I would have been dead. Because you popped the Unite move with all that buddy barrier, that's it for me. I, I, it's over, I would have died. So instead of doing that, let Green do his thing, let Charizard go ahead and burn people down. But I'm sitting here trying to get picks. I, I got the attention of Trevenant for a split second, I got Venus sort of following me around. I'm still on like no HP. But the thing is, they're not on the Zapdos, they're fighting us. And I, we're doing great because we're still alive, right? Enemy team's dead. We played it right, we played it well, it's fine. Three meters on Zapdos from enemy Gengar. They burn him as well. We should be able to take this and no problem. Get out of here. Let's go, boys. Good job. Good game. But either way, man, this has been Paul's place. Hope you guys smash that like button. Come join that Discord as I die to this Greninja because he should be able to kill me. Yep. Good job, bud. Anyway, I will catch you guys in the very next video. Stay safe out there and stay tuned for tomorrow. Got a brand new Pokemon Unite tier list coming up. My own opinions, my thoughts, and all that sort of thing. So leave the comments down in the comment section on what you think about it, give or take. Either way, new Kirby's coming out. I would that be on the channel tomorrow morning as well. But see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to head out.